good everybody welcome back to another video another reaction we got the scariest doordash videos ever uploaded to the internet internet so let's go ahead and get into it. i'm not gonna keep y'all waiting make sure y'all like subscribe uh check this person channel out Shackle oh, shit. The channel uh subscribe to this channel whatever let's get into it See what they're talking about. Driving on a road in San Antonio after leaving his bank for work. That's when a car passed him with one of the back doors open and a woman yelling for help. Upon realizing, oh, Michael changed his original route and began <coughs> following the car, all the while calling the police for assistance. The entire incident was captured on his dash cam footage. I'm gonna get you a dash cam. I need police ASAP. Outside her her Ford, a gray Ford exiting Ingram Road right now. She's trying to get out of a vehicle and the guy won't let no, she's not exiting. They got back on 410. I don't know. So basically what he doing is she tried to hop out that jump. But he said, fuck that, we're going on the highway. You can't jump out on the highway. It says 410 South from Ingram going towards uh, like Marbach area. After driving on the highway for a few minutes, the car eventually exited and began moving at slower speeds. At that point, the woman in the back seat saw an opportunity and exited the moving vehicle. Yeah. Military. That's what he messed up at. Right. That's your chance. Exit by Jump the out. Now. Okay. Military drive. We're in the. Forex.com, the number one Forex broker. The Fed is raising the interest rates, signaling trading opportunities. Frontage Road. Why is it highlighted? Well, they got seen this a while ago. She's screaming and kicking in the car. He's erratically. She's trying to get out of the car. She's opening the door. She's trying to jump out. She, he sped up and he couldn't get out. She jumped out. She jumped out. She jumped out. She jumped out. Ma'am, get in my truck. Get in my truck. Okay, I'm going to the police station right now. He has my car. He has everything. The one on Calabra, yeah. After the woman escaped from the moving vehicle, <coughs> she and Michael right retreated to a nearby parking lot where a medical crew arrived to assist her. The woman was taken to a hospital as a precaution, but fortunately, her injuries were minor. It was later discovered that the woman had... Yes, yeah, seen this been taken against her will by her own husband, who had refused Dang. to let her go. In order to get help, the woman had to resort to yelling out to nearby drivers. The husband was eventually found and arrested by the police. In March 2016, a video was uploaded to YouTube, featuring several GoPro cameras fastened inside oh, a car. Oh shit. The car contains four friends, with the- Damn, the whole airbag came out and hit him in his head, like he was holding his ear. The uploader in the passenger seat. While driving through an intersection, the car is suddenly struck from the passenger side, causing the vehicle to oh, jolt to the left fuck. and several airbags to deploy. The airbag saves them the <laughs> Look at that hog. Yo! That's a yog, isn't it? I I think Whoa bro. Dang. Holy are you guys all right? Is everyone okay? This perspective from inside the car also captured. Man, like they didn't do nothing to the car. Well, like who hit it? Like it didn't even like it didn't, did nothing to the car. Just few seconds before the impact, during which the driver tries to swerve out of the way, a dash cam footage was later posted from a car behind the incident, which shows the outside view. Let's see that. Oh damn. Oh, they hit the uh the back of it, so they got lucky. I think whoa bro. Oh my damn. Fortunately, no one was injured and neither vehicle suffered major damage. On June 25th, 2021, damn. a dash cam captured footage of a car driving behind a Jeep Grand Cherokee <coughs> in Waverly, Kansas during a summer storm. As the vehicles approached an intersection and began to slow down. 
Lightning suddenly struck the car. Yes, and you listen to four times by lightning strikes in quick succession, causing the electrical system to fail and leaving a hole in the door yeah. handle. Additionally, yeah, the car's tires were blown out due to the electricity. But shit, they better off in there though. De traveling through them to reach the ground. There were five people inside the car. Despite the severity of the lightning strikes, none of the family members were injured. Yeah. In February of That's 2012, crazy. A video was uploaded to YouTube that captured a scary incident on a foggy day with limited visibility. As the driver was going, they suddenly saw two sets of headlights heading towards them, occupying oh, both damn. lanes. One of the truckers had attempted to... Oh, he's trying to, he's trying to get in front of the man on a one-lane street in fog. Why would you do it when it was foggy? That's stupid. Like, you about to kill everybody on the other side. Head on collision. The past the other and was now in the dash cam driver's lane, leaving no room for the driver to maneuver. And then at that point he had to get in the grass. One of the opposite coal truck drivers slowed down and veered off the roadway and onto the hard shoulder to avoid a potential collision. Yeah, cause, the other truck because that would have been over driver didn't seem to make any effort to move out of the way despite the dangerous situation the dash cam driver managed to Damn. expertly maneuver their way through and avoid the accident Damn, they did they did damn pretty good a man named paul yearly was driving his ford mustang on the highway <coughs> at his workplace on april 2nd 2015. that's when he suddenly began to feel nauseous he noticed that yes, something yeah, was amiss and began like, to experience tunnel vision, so he switched off his cruise control. Suddenly after, Is he lost consciousness. And then he passed out of some shit. Driving, and his foot came to rest on top of the gas pedal, causing it to be pushed down to the floor. And that dude started going into the field. Luckily it was a field right there. Car People probably driving past like, look at this. They probably like, look at this idiot doing donuts in the field. Like, that's what they probably thinking. That, not thinking that the dude passed out. Avoided hitting a power line pole. Instead, continuing to drive into a nearby field. The car was eventually steered back towards the highway, but was unable to clear a hill, resulting in it moving back towards a fence. It was at this point that Paul Man. finally regained consciousness. Quickly taking control of the vehicle by putting his hands back on the steering wheel and pressing the brakes, bringing the car to a halt. Paul had never experienced a blackout before this incident. Damn. When a passing car noticed him in the field, they stopped to help him. You just imagine, like, what the hell? You wake up from you passed out, like. Oh, shit! But he's in the field though, so he was, he was good. So he's in a big ass field. So he got lucky on that one. And called the police. He was rushed to the emergency room where he underwent multiple tests to determine the cause of his unconsciousness, which turned out to be caused by a hereditary low blood pressure condition. Fortunately, Paul was treated promptly and made a full recovery. This video was captured by a dash cam on a freeway in Glendale, California, <coughs> and depicts a Tesla yeah, suddenly hitting this. the brakes as its uh, driver exits the vehicle. Yeah, I've seen this. Um, yeah, I hope y'all like the video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and uh, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.